It's time for food on this Friday, and we're coming at you from a different kitchen today. This is the kitchen at WBOC, but we're also hanging out in Paul Cullen's kitchen, Paul's kitchen. How you doing, Paul? Hey, <gasps> how you doing? Great, so you're in Lewis, right? Yes, I am, yeah. We're actually in uh, Lewis, Delaware, but we're about as far away from Lewis, from downtown Lewis as you can be, and still be in Lewis. So we're west of Route 1, uh, two miles from Acme. Awesome, so Paul, you've been on the show before. Yes, I have. How, how has business for you changed up a little bit with, with all of what's going on? My main business is uh, in-home dining. So mm -hmm. we go to people's houses yeah. uh, all over the United States, mainly the mid-Atlantic. Sure. And we cook for them and uh, pair great wines, and then I play a concert afterwards. So that business is 90% of our business, mm -hmm. and that's 90% of the business that's gone. Right, <laughs> so, uh, right. So uh, because of having Paul's opinion, our trying to reinvent ourselves and do stuff that we were thinking about doing anyways, which is uh, curbside uh, pickup for our products on Sundays and Saturdays. And uh, I'm doing a, a virtual uh, wine dinner uh, this Sunday, which is actually sold out. Wow. Uh, and uh, where people come and pick their dinner up. And then uh, on Zoom, we're going to do a, uh, a concert. That is awesome. So... You're going to uh, make something for us today and, and do a little concert, so I'm excited about that. What do you got going on? So one of my favorite uh, traditional dishes from uh, the Rome area of Italy is uh, Amatriciana sauce. So it's a really, really simple sauce, and it started with uh, with guanciale, uh, which is uh, pig jowls, and if you can see it, it's it's not very, it's not a lot of meat, it's more fat. Mm -hmm. uh, pancetta, we can use also, because guanciale is not used easily found here. Uh, unless you come to Paul's Market, because I always have black jolly uh, hey. available. So, um, start with that. I got that sauteing right now, and then I'm going to take uh, some onion and just dice that up in small dices. And uh, add that to this. It's too bad we don't have smell of vision. I was just thinking that. So, next, I'm going to cut some garlic, nice thin slices of garlic. Maybe like uh, half a clove. Okay, and that's going to be enough to feed like three or four people. That's going to add to the smell even more. I need it, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Got that going. So uh, what I like to do next is uh, we have our own products here at Paul's Kitchen, including our own Italian sausage that we have made every week fresh. Mm. We have a chicken, sweet Italian, and then we have a spicy Italian. And then we make our own spices. So I'm kind of like the, the mad scientist of spices. So I, I, I get a whole bunch of bags of different spices and I mix them together. And I came up with Paul's Rockin' oh. Tuscan Spice. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm going to put just a little bit of that on there. Wow. Just to give it some aromatic or flavor. And then I'm going to take some pepperoncini because this is a spicy dish. Because there's not a lot going on in the dish, Italians like to put a little bit of uh, hot pepper flakes mm. here in America. This is a very, very quick dish. Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do next is put in some canned tomatoes. These are my favorite by far. Uh, San Marzano tomatoes from Italy are awesome. Mm. Stanislaw from California are great. But these are cherry tomatoes in a can. And the company is called Muti, M-U-T-T-I, from Emilia Romagna, which mm. is the region above Tuscany. Huh. And uh, that's known for Parmesan cheese. Perfect. prosciutto and balsamic vinegar mm -hmm. and uh and then these two on there so they're whole cherry tomatoes oh that sounds nice you know how to say wow in italian i have uh no idea wow. oh wow. <laughs> perfect <laughs> Yeah, so Easy enough. Italian, see? yeah i mean my last name is italian so it's i really need to start learning <laughs> so i got two people there you can't do this, you get these at Paul's Kitchen. Uh, they're amazing tomatoes. Cool. Uh, so, Paul, it looks like you've, you've got that sauce started. So why don't we take a break, and then when you come back, when we come back, you're going to finish that up and uh, sing for us, right? That's great. Perfect. All right. We'll be right back. We're back here on Delmarva Life, hanging out in our WBOC kitchen, but really in... Paul Cullen's Kitchen. It looks great in there. You you made the sauce, and uh, you're going to put the pasta in now? Yeah, so because we're using Grandpa Max pasta that they made for us, it's freshly extruded today, this morning, actually. Oh. Uh, this When you have the pasta, like Garganelli, mm -hmm. um, you can actually put it right in the sauce oh. without putting it in water. So how cool is that that you don't have to boil water 
to put your pasta in. That's so incredible. What I do is uh, get the chickpea in here and, and, and put it in with the sauce and then just cover it for about five minutes. Perfect. And, uh, and then you'll have dinner. Cool, so you don't have to have different things, boiling water. Plus, the, the pasta soaks up the water it's put in. Mm -hmm. So if you put it in tomatoes, it's going to soak tomatoes, oh, which is really good. Oh, that sounds amazing. Um, what also sounds amazing is uh, your voice and your guitar. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> that is great. So I'm going to play a song uh, off my first CD. It's called Summer Nights because we're all hoping for a summer night. That's for sure. That's right. <laughs> summer now. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Uh, how's our pasta looking? Oh, I think pretty darn good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sure smells good. So much goodness happening. Your songs and your pasta, like, I can't get enough. We get a little taste. Yeah. Uh, check it off. Do you love cooking or music more, or can you even decide? I question all the time. So, I was a bass player for 26 years, uh -huh. and then I switched to guitar, and then I started cooking for a living. So I, I really enjoy my time playing guitar, but I love cooking for people also. That's awesome. It's just such a, a great feeling, yeah. you know, to make making people happy through all their senses, which is, you know, their belly, their their ears, their eyes, their nose, all of it. That's so, perfect. And I'm gonna finish it with some tomato because that's traditional for that region. Mm -hmm. I could use parmesan, but uh, pecorino's possibly is a little saltier than uh, parmesan also. All right. So I'm gonna take a test. That's We've got to know. I wish I could right, test. Wow, the pasta one way. Hmm. <laughs> it's so good. That proves that you can actually cook the pasta in the sauce. You don't have to do it in water. Well, Paul, thank you so much. I'm so glad it was good. And now I know how to say wow in Italian. Wow. Oh, your friends. I know how to speak it. That's perfect. <laughs> thank you so much for cooking and singing and playing for us today. I had a blast. Anytime, Katie. Thanks for having me. Well, hopefully, see you again soon. Not for now. All right.